Hey people of the sky, how are you? We're finally back flying again, it's a beautiful day. Um, we came back from recurrent training a while ago and back in the saddle now. So, um, just wanted to come drop by, say hi, hopefully um, you're having a great weekend so far. Um, I don't know what everybody else is doing, but um, yeah, here we go. So, one fun thing that I learned to use uh, during recurrent last, uh, hey Mohammed. Uh, last time was uh, the HUD. Fun piece of technology. It feels like uh, we're flying a, pri uh, a fighter jet all the time. Salut Anna. Uh, so here we go. So you can see where I'm sitting right now. Um, there's a projector sort of thing up here. It's called... Uh, I forget the name already. Anyhow, uh, that cool little projector on top of my head see how much space it takes over the head combiner that's what it's called um, so the combiner there it acts like a projector basically and you can see some of the HUD information in it um, and there's a couple of things part of it um, there's an alignment beam or signal that goes from here to the HUD I'll show you there's a little mirror and it's just making sure that uh, the HUD is aligned perfectly uh, our HUD also has EVS, Enhanced Vision System, which uh, is basically like uh, infrared vision. Pretty cool. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, without further ado, let's turn this around and um, check it out. There we go. Alright, so we're sitting here. You can see uh, part of the HUD there. Hey William, uh, it's uh, no, it's a Global Express. Oh Marcus, you think the combiner is the glass I look through? Okay, um, I'll take your word for it. Uh, honestly, uh, that term itself, I don't quite remember it. But let's see if we can focus on that glass there. As you can see, it's like super sensitive as to where um, you're looking. You know. A little bit to the right or to the left or up and down and you lose the picture right away um, it's flickering like this because of the uh, the frequency difference there between my camera and uh, and the projection um, but anyhow so the basic elements of a HUD if you look at my PFD down here uh, you can see I've got altitude speed there's um, the horizon there my HSI vertical speed um, this is my speed that uh, desired auto throttle speed or speed bug, whatever I want. Pointing to the left here, this is the what side the autopilot is going to be coupled to. All right, so your basic PFD information. Come back here. If I realign it, there we go. All right, so again, you can see boop, speed. This is our auto throttle or speed bug there. Altitude. HSI, let's move that around a little, there we go, um, this is the navigation and like uh, based on the localizer information we have there, and then this here, that W, no it's not a Wonder Woman uh, superhero symbol, <laughs> they, they call it different things, the water line and whatnot, um, but basically it represents the actual uh, nose of the airplane so where the nose of the airplane is pointed so as you can see we're a little bit nose up on this uh, bay compared to the horizon and this is like your horizon reference line right there so that's always supposed to be based on the horizon green light is a kind of a hologram uh, it's a HUD, heads up display it's a projection on uh, oh that's almost clearer here projection on uh, on a piece of glass <laughs> f-16 I wish um, and then here at the top, whoop, we lost it, there you go, right here at the top you can see that little arc there, that's basically our bank angle. As we pass through, I think 32 degrees or something like this, uh, the 45 and the 60 degrees will show up at that point. Um, there's a lot more information that will go on there as we take off. Uh, for example, that water line there um, will change, well it won't change, it'll still be there, but we'll also get a flight path vector that will appear at 80 knots and that looks like a little circle with little wings and um, then there'll be our target 
like a flight director target they call it the, the donut it's a little circle so all we want to do is put the flight path vector on the circle and about your uncle you're basically following your flight director and that flight path vector differs from what that water line there that w in which the w is always pointing where the nose of the airplane is whereas the flight path vector is always going to show where the airplane is actually going in reference to your speed and altitude and direction and all that um yeah in a nutshell that's about it i'm sorry guys that the quality can't be better um this is a not a brand new airplane obviously uh newer huds have, have nicer displays and wider displays but this one's pretty nice no it's not helmet mounted it's uh, just a piece of glass there um and then i don't even, i don't know if our abs is working um i mean i know it is but it takes a while to heat up turn it on and see if it shows all right so we'll wait for that uh so with the evs you'll see it when it loads it takes a little bit to, to warm up um it's basically showing the difference in temperature it's not like a, a magic eye or whatever so it's nice um on cloudy days and such you can see uh de rien, though. um you can see um lights approach lights and such when you're coming down to minimums however uh, as more airports go to led um it's getting harder no the hud color is always that green there well, that's the one drawback from the hud basically is that see on the pfd we got uh all sorts of beautiful color blue and brown and it's going to be red and you know red tapes there and all this stuff and it's just it's all green here so. hey fabian yeah i've never been to costa rica i wish i could um so i don't know what you guys are up to today but uh the aircraft uh, aircraft type, sorry, Malik, it's the Global Express uh, XRS. No, Little Rock, Arkansas, never been. Um, actually, it might have been once. Anyhow, do you guys have any questions about the HUD or anything like this? Now is the time to ask. Otherwise, we'll wrap this up and uh, we'll come back later with some more on the Global Express. No? Yes? No? <laughs> All right, well, guys, it was a pleasure. Hope you're enjoying this beautiful Sunday. Let me turn this around. And um, welcome back to people of the sky. We, hey, oh, before I go, I gotta say, other than sunglasses, well, it's got a, I have a, a sun visor on it, actually. It's a approved sun visor for the hug. Pretty cool. Uh, it works with sunglasses, though, as well. Um, where are we going? Sadly, I can't say that. <laughs> that's the nature of uh, private flying um, yeah I can't believe that we're almost at 160,000 polarized sunglasses I never wear polarized sunglasses flying as a rule of thumb um, so I doubt it would work uh, William and Global Express um, yeah so 160,000 is great it's just, it's just retardedly crazy you guys are amazing thank you all for being part of this and uh, I just hope that we can continue to grow, continue to grow <laughs> as, a, as a community. Uh, it's always fun to post, to see your comments, and to go live with you guys. You're a great bunch. So, love you all. Uh, Stefano, how old am I? I'm going to be 33 this summer. 33, I think, yeah. Uh, no, I've never been to Cape Town. Um, but I hear it's gorgeous over there. Uh, I was born in Africa, believe it or not but never been to South Africa. Yeah, uh, Little Rock Air Force Base, never been. Uh, sounds like fun though. <laughs> All right guys, have a great one and uh, we'll talk to you soon.